nothing seems to kill me no matter how hard I try nothing is closing my eyes nothing can beat me down for your pain or delight no And nothing seems to break me No matter how far I fall Nothing can break me is all No one for giving up But not invincible I know I've given everything I need I give you everything I own I give it if it could at least be ours alone I've given everything I could To blow to hell and go on Burrow down and then blow up the outside Blow up the outside world. Hi, my name is Gravity Groove. This is not safe for work magic, and that's how I feel. It's been a rough week. It's been a rough month. It's been a rough year. And we've never needed optimism more then we need it right now and it's impossible to generate the reality of things is grim on virtually all fronts and us as magic players god we're the biggest chumps of all it's bad for us too hope springs eternal but here we are, Thursday, the day the ban was supposed to go through on Arena. We didn't post a video yesterday because, again, there's nothing new to learn here. And uh, I'm in Standard, and these cards are still legal. Agent of Treachery, Fires of Invention. I have no wild cards from them. They're not removed from my profile. They're still here. So, I guess we can't get anywhere then. I guess we can't play any new games then. I guess we can't learn anything then. It's just the same shit forever. <sighs> and as a result, we've been playing the same shit forever. You know what that shit is. Our primary flavor here. Understanding fully that Cry the Carnarium is what you need to beat the aggro matchup and little else helps. And that the other version, which will evolve as if the format ever changes, is more designed to attack the control matchups with of course some hedging for the aggressive decks extinction event is good even in the control matchups because it gets a shark it gets a dream trawler it's gonna get something it's gonna get an uro or a croxa what have you gets all of the uh, flying enchantment boys uh, back up and him as well the uh, four mana generates two twos for auras lots of discard lots of discard and the potential to recur that discard with the orion but again right now this is basically unplayable 
because the format is split pretty evenly between hyper aggressive turn three, turn four, kill you Mardu decks and uh, mono white Loris decks and Boros cycling decks, and people who are still playing Jeskai Luka. We're not really gonna do a deep dive today. We're not really gonna play this format. I'm just I'm just checking in with y'all to let you know. Uh, you know, I'm not dead. I'm going to keep researching um, Rune Terra and see if we'll be ready to go into a series of that soon. Um, that would be a nice alternative in the wake of them not caring at all about the meta. We also have, in a few weeks, we'll have M11 uh, coming out in which we can do some drafting. We've been trying to grind joylessly through our dailies so that we can save up money for drafting but that'll be several weeks away and uh, even then the uh, cheap draft quick draft version of it will be several weeks away so we'll uh, we'll be relegated to playing a few with our gems and uh, probably lucking out and, and you know busting out and having to wait uh, even longer because that's what this game is about you know soaking you in as many creative ways as it can. So we're just gonna run one uh, one with our, our old hero here and uh, auto cancel out of any Jeskai Yorion decks of course. Just so that we're playing a little magic on this show. But god damn it's been uh, it's been emotionally rough for a lot of reasons for everyone. And uh, believe me I understand. I understand. I'm on the margins of society, not to the same degree that our brothers and sisters out there fighting and protesting are. But as an autistic adult, I've been marginalized and looked down on and treated poorly and bullied most of my goddamn life. So it may not be the same, but I'm trying to understand. That's a great avatar. This seems like a pretty uh, mediocre hand against Loris on the play. As per usual, all we're looking for is Cry of the Carnarian. We're, of course, we're biased some time, but. Cry of the Carnarium, as often said on this show, is the only important card in these matchups. Well, I think we need to keep the Fabled Passage. Just to make sure we can get to Extinction Event. Next turn, we'll Conquer's, er, conquer's Death. We'll uh, Elspeth's Nightmare the priest oh it's this variant this variant is actually pretty annoying that at the moment. There goes our only out. That was a really well-timed drill bit. I don't think there's any uh, any real point in playing this out now. We 
die or extinction event or the game's over. There's a cry, so if he does make us sacrifice the Cavalier of Thorns, we can punish him for it. Although we are preciously close to death. So, I don't know that any of this matters. No, no it does not. It's a good example of why Cry of the Carnarium should be a four of and all of your decks that have black in them. It's absolutely a requirement if you want to play the game of Magic in Standard right now. If you're not running it, you're a colossal dumbass. one black at the moment so that's extremely unfortunate for us dog by that one swamp we're missing. Pretty annoying. No hits.
course. We do rest looking for the drill bit or the claim or the witch's oven and we get nothing and then they immediately top deck and take our best card. That's very, very cool. <sighs> yep. question is, do we try to disfigure this to keep them from being able to activate? We kill that now, they lure us and cast again, they get to do it anyway? They would have to sacrifice at least two other things though. It's a bad play, but I think it's the best play I have. We just need to dig for another answer. At least if they do this, we kill the Loris. Exile or our uh, Uro, but we do have another one. Oh, we did have another one. Flooding our tits off over here. Ooh, castle. This means they're dead next turn to this if I can't kill it. three. Game three. Game three. Game three. Okay, apparently our opponent's just going to dick around. You can see their clock is running down. Ours not. 
Someone sticking around. Let's check to make sure we're not disconnected or any uh, any nonsense like that. It does not appear so. Opponents just sticking around. Or roping me to waste my time. Okay, Lucas. Report stalling in Magic Arena. How to report? Sign in. Submit a request. Click here. Report conduct. After opponent was put into a losing state, Game two of three, they stalled until end game. Um, if a person accumulates enough of these on their record, they get banned from Arena. So whenever someone does this to you, you should absolutely uh, submit a complaint. Because this is how we weed shitty people out of the game. Remember. We live in a society. All right. Well, that was a game, technically. As unsatisfying as the meta itself. <laughs> Again, I apologize for the state of things. There's very little I can do to control how tremendously uh, fucking inept uh, the people over at Wizards of the Coast have been. And there's very little I can do to change the fact that their greed has overwritten their good sense about how the game should be handled. And um, I, I firmly expect that we're going to see more player-run events like the Hoogland Open and uh, other companies stepping up to represent games where people can design their own formats that are healthier. Uh, and when your local game stores come back if they do and I hope they do I was a big supporter of a local game store here in Minnesota and uh, I was something of a, a fixture there and I always tried to help new players and uh, really enjoyed being able to have that little bit of interaction when those come back if they do I, I fully expect to see players create their own formats and create their own ban lists because Wizards isn't taking care of the format and someone needs to because there's still a game here to salvage there's still something there's still something here I don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater so to speak but it needs to be corrected and if they won't do it we should uh, my name is Gravity Guru for Not Safe for Work Magic I will be producing more content coming soon uh, we've been a little bit short lately. Uh, we have not had much to work with, but I promise I'm going to get back to work uh, as soon as I am able. I appreciate you hanging out with me and spending a little of your time. There's a ton of content producers out there you could all be watching. I appreciate you spent some of that valuable time with me. Feel free to give a, uh, a thumbs up or a thumbs down or, you know, tell me I suck, tell me I'm great, tell me I'm a long-haired raggy weird al yankovic impersonator you know I've, I've heard that one it's minnesota i hear that everywhere i go you gotta stop i'm gonna start charging like uh autograph fees i swear but you know even if you don't do any of those things i'm still gonna give you a thumbs up later thanks for watching